Magneto-Hydrodynamic Drive Aircraft Propulsion Passive Flow Control The first studies of the interaction of plasmas with hypersonic flows around vehicles date back to the late 1950s, with the concept of a new kind of thermal protection system for space capsules during high-speed re-entry. As low-pressure air is naturally ionized at such very high velocities and altitude, it was thought to use the effect of a magnetic field produced by an electromagnet to replace thermal ablative shields. Hypersonic ionized flow interacts with the magnetic field, inducing eddy currents in the plasma. The current combines with the magnetic field to give Lorentz forces that oppose the flow and detach the bow shock wave further ahead of the vehicle lowering the heat flux which is due to the brutal recompression of air behind the stagnation point. Active Flow Control Active flow control by MHD force fields on the contrary involves a direct and imperious action of forces to locally accelerate or slow down the airflow, modifying its velocity, direction pressure, and friction heat flux parameters in order to preserve materials and engines from stress, allowing hypersonic flight. It is a field of magnetohydrodynamics, also called magnetogas dynamics, magnetoaerodynamics, or magnetoplasma aerodynamics, as the working fluid is the air ionized to become electrically conductive. Air ionization is achieved at high altitude, electrical conductivity of air increases as atmospheric pressure reduces according to Passion's law. Passion's law is an equation that gives the breakdown voltage, that is, the voltage necessary to start a discharge or electric arc between two electrodes in a gas as a function of pressure and gap length. It is named after Friedrich Passion who discovered it empirically in 1889 using various techniques of high voltage electric arc discharge like RF electromagnetic glow discharge and a laser, e-beam or betatron radioactive source. MHD studies applied to aeronautics try to extend the domain of hypersonic planes to higher Mach regimes. Inlet Flow Control Airflow velocity reduction upstream to feed a scramjet by the use of an MHD generator section combined with an MHD accelerator downstream at the exhaust nozzle, powered by the generator through an MHD bypass system. The Russian project Ajax is an example of MHD-controlled hypersonic aircraft concept. A U.S. program also exists to design a hypersonic MHD bypass system, the Hypersonic Vehicle Electric Power System. A working prototype was completed in 2017 under development by General Atomics and the University of Tennessee Space Institute, sponsored by the U.S. Air Force Research Laboratory. These projects aim to develop MHD generators feeding MHD accelerators for a new generation of high-speed vehicles. Such MHD bypass systems are often designed around a scramjet engine, but easier-to-design turbojets are also considered, as well as subsonic ramjets. Such studies covers a field of resistive MHD with magnetic Reynolds number much less than one using non-thermal weakly ionized gases making the development of demonstrators much more difficult to realize than for MHD in liquids. Cold plasmas with magnetic fields are subject to the electrothermal instability occurring at a critical hall parameter, which makes full-scale developments difficult. MHD propulsion has been considered as the main propulsion system for both marine and spaceships since there is no need to produce lift to counter the gravity of Earth in water due to buoyancy, nor in space due to weightlessness, which is ruled out in the case of flight in the atmosphere. One could imagine future aircraft of a new kind silently powered by MHD accelerators, able to ionize and direct enough air downward to lift several tons. As external flow systems can control the flow over the whole wetted area, limiting thermal issues at high speeds, ambient air would be ionized and radially accelerated by Lorentz forces around an axisymmetric body shaped as a cylinder, a cone, a sphere, the entire airframe being the engine. Lift and thrust would arise as a consequence of a pressure difference between the upper and lower surfaces induced by the Coanda effect. In order to maximize such pressure difference between the two opposite sides, and since the most efficient MHD converters with a high hall effect are disc-shaped, such MHD aircraft would be preferably flattened to take the shape of a biconvex lens. Having no wings nor air-breathing jet engines, it would share no similarities with conventional aircraft, 
but it would behave like a helicopter whose rotor blades would have been replaced by a purely electromagnetic rotor with no moving part, sucking the air downward. Such concepts of flying MHD discs have been developed in the peer review literature from the mid-1970s mainly by physicists Leek Marabo with the Lightcraft and Subrata Roy with the wingless electromagnetic air vehicle.